Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to start a new series where I look at Magic the Gathering combos, mainly in Commander because that's my stomping grounds. So today we're looking at Nim Death Mantle. So we're going to break down the combo, explain it, show its uses, how it works, and substitutes or decks you might want to put it into. So Nim Death Mantle itself is a 2 mana artifact equipment with equip for 4. It does give the equipped creature plus 2 plus 2 intimidate and a zombie. We don't care about any of that. All we care about is whenever a non-token creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay four if you do return it to the battlefield attached to the Nim Death Mantle. That's all we care about. And as the combo often implies, Nim Death Mantle slash Ashdod's Altar, we run the altar. So the altar itself, three mana artifact, sack a creature, add two mana to your pool. So the overall game plan of this combo is to generate infinite mana or tokens or create a sack loop for other supporting elements of your deck. The main goal in this combo is to abuse a creature by a factor of 2 because if you're sacking it for 2 mana, you do that twice, you've got 4 mana, you can continue a loop. That's your overall goal. So let's look at Persist. It's a great mechanic that works well with the combo. So Woodfall Primus here, let's say you cast him, he enters the battlefield, you reckon on creature permanent. But let's sack him into the altar to get 2 generic mana back. His persist triggers, he enters the battlefield again with the neg one, neg one counter on him after dying. Um, and then you wreck another non-creature permanent. But now he can no longer persist anymore because he has a neg counter on him. But you sack him again to the altar. Now you've got four generic mana and your Primus is dead. But now you can use that four mana to cycle it into the death mantle to bring him straight back to the battlefield equipped to the death mantle and you wreck another non-creature permanent. And you just continue this loop. So other cards that work well with it in Persist would be Murderous Redcap, where it deals damage to its power on entry. So if you can keep him in a loop, you just kill every creature on the board and every player if you want to. Or Kitchen Finks, where you can have infinite life. The same concept applies to Undying, exactly the same except it's with 1-1 one, one counters rather than negative counters. Um, so Flyer the Hatebound here. He gets to deal damage, or other creatures deal damage equal to the power when they go from the graveyard to the battlefield. So you sack him, his Undying triggers, he comes back from the graveyard, he deals 5 damage to something because he's got a counter on him now. Um, you've got 2 mana for the altar, sack him again, he does not get to return thanks to Undying. But you've got 4 generic mana which you can feed into the altar and bring him back again anyway. And since he's a new entity, he no longer has counters on him and you keep that cycle going. Same rule applies to Garrow's Messenger here on entry, the target opponent loses 2 life and you'll clap him down there. So Sling Gang Lieutenant, try saying that 5 times, it's a bit of an oddball so I've chucked him here. It's kind of the gap between damage and tokens. Um, so he enters the battlefield and he creates two 1-1 one, one goblin tokens, sacrifice a goblin token, target player loses one life and gain one life. But with this kind of card and the Ashnod's altar, you sack one token to get two mana, and then you sack the other token to the lieutenant to deal one damage to your opponents essentially. Then you sacrifice the lieutenant, you have four generic mana, you bring back him with the death mantle and continue that loop. It's a way to ping your opponent out, but with a token theme. So let's look at tokens. You want to have a creature that brings at least one other body with it, Preferably two or more, that way you can net an advantage. So Grave Tide, for example, brings in two zombie tokens. You sack one token and Grave Tide to that altar, that gets you four generic mana. You feed that four mana back into the death mantle to bring back the Titan again. The Titan enters the battlefield, you get another two tokens. Now you're up to three zombie tokens in one cycle, and this is how you're just netting an army. So if you want, you can create an infinite army of zombies or infinite mana if you need to. Use it for whatever you want. So other token generators that work quite well in the combo would be Precursor Golem. Pretty much identical, except it is colorless, so you can fit into other different colors if you want to. Mer Battlesphere, same thing, colorless, generates four tokens, um, will fit most decks, but you can produce a ton of Mer's to tap down to buff the Mer Battlesphere, which then can one-shot a defending player, so it's another way to remove a player if you want to. Or Avenger of Zendikar, just create an army of plant tokens which you can buff through landfall. Or Sengir Autocrat, which brings in three little surf tokens. Between the tokens and him, that's 8 mana you can sacrifice through and keep recurring if you need to. Um, Marsh Flutter, same concept again, it's bringing 2 tokens with it that you can sacrifice. And then Siege Gang Commander bring 3 tokens with it, but you can sacrifice tokens through the Siege Gang Commander to deal direct damage if you need to squeeze out a little bit. Um, and a similar rule to Fabrication applies. If you've got a creature that can Fabricate 2 or higher, it's a token generator and it can follow the same plan. The Marionette Master here can just be a free win on the spot. You fabricate three, you choose to create three tokens, but with her wording, whenever an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to her power. A token does go to the graveyard, then it ceases to exist. So you create three tokens, you sack the three tokens to Ashnod's altar, you gain six mana, three artifacts have gone to the graveyard, her power at the time was one, your opponents lose three life, and then you sack the master to the altar, now you've got eight mana, you pay four back into the death mantle. 
bring her back and just continue that loop and just win on the spot. Angel Invention, same concept again, but you're just generating an army that's Lord effect and buffed up. And if you're in a bit of a combo deck, you can try and just create a mana loop if you want to. So Composite Golem here doesn't even need Alter to go off, it can do it itself. Sacrifice itself, adds 5 mana to your pool, one of each colour, pay 4 in any combination, back into the death mantle and recur it again. Infinite mana of every colour. The other 3 guys here on entry or death will generate 3 mana of a set, but with Alter, that's 5 mana, you're gaining 1 mana, so you can just have infinite mana there too if you want. Now these cards are often paired in a deck where you're creating a sacrificing loop and you have one of these to win. So things like Blasting Station or Grinding Station just will keep tapping and untapping, mill your opponent out or burn them out. Blood Artist do the pot crop through it will just drain your opponent's life away. Or you can feed all the mana into big X spells. So things like Banefire here becomes a big X burn spell that can't be prevented or countered. Blue Sun, mill opponent out. Torment of Hellfire, well, it's just gonna win the game one way. Or even Helix Pinnacle, pump all the mana into it and just get a free win that way if your opponent's got too much life or infinite life. I've left out white because white X spells tend to generate tokens that will gain life, which this combo can already do. So of course, Commander being my stomping ground where I like to punch around, um, this combo sees a lot of play there. Here's a few commanders that you might already have that you could put it into or want to look into. Breya is probably the best by far, the fact she can be part of the combo herself. Breya brings in two Thopter tokens, which are your three bodies including herself. You can net two mana or a token each time you recur the combo, which then you can sacrifice a ton of tokens, get a ton of mana, use her ability and just win on the spot. Corvold is a great commander based around sacrifice and this combo loop is a sacrifice loop. So you can buff him, draw a ton of cards, just a great supporting theme. Modrotha is a great graveyard mana deck. It's more of a uh, support piece because you can play cards from your graveyard thanks to Modrotha. So if you lose your combo of people that are strong, you can rebuild it from the graveyard, hopefully. Or even Urza, if you want to go the colorless build into an artifact theme. The artifact decks can tutor out really well, so you can have more consistent combo up. Or an Uptasa, where you can go a token theme. For example, Grave Time can make a ton of black zombie tokens. They start getting sacrificed again, which turns into white spirit tokens, which then they can get sacrificed to start exiling things. It's a loop of sacrifice and suffering. Or even Meren, Clan Neltoth, just a generic Graveyard's Mana deck. If your combo doesn't work, well, you're already a Graveyard theme anyway, so hopefully you'll find something. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, I love the Death Mantle combo with the Altar. You can also find substitute parts for these kind of combos. There might be Frixian Altar or other sec outlets you want to use it to generate your mana. And I can't cover every creature. There's tons of cards that could work in this combo. So let me know down below what creatures that I haven't mentioned that you would like to use in a combo like this or you do use. Um, we want to try and get as much information down in the comments. So if anyone is looking into this combo, they'll stumble along this video and they'll find all the information in the video or in the comments. Just great options for people to look at. So if you guys found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. It helps push through YouTube's algorithm and gets it out there so more people can see it. And only 10% of my lovelies are subs, so maybe consider it. You know what I'm suggesting that. And thank you to my patrons. I hope you guys will like this new series. I want to start covering as many combos throughout, mainly Commander, that I can and try and get a good congregation of knowledge together for people. So thank you for your support, guys. Hashtag team tank top. Got all the big Spetsnaz tank top boys in here. Just like a cracky shoot now. What are you sitting there for, you muppet? Oh, my legs! <laughs> Just playing again. Hello there. Hey, we're really important to just like put it in the game. We stuck each other. I can tag it. 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 No, oh, you can't. Nope. 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 What are you doing, son? <laughs>